hold a thumb in front of your face. I'm serious, do it. Hold your thumb out in front of your face. Now close one eye. Now switch which eye is open. What do you see happen to the position of your thumb relative to the background? It should appear to move. With your right eye open, that your thumb should appear over here. With your left eye open, the thumb will appear to be over here. If you move your thumb further away from your face, it will appear to move less against the background. This effect is called parallax and can also explain why when you're driving along a road, the cars in the field nearby seem to be moving away at a higher speed than the distant hills. Stellar parallax can be used to measure the distance to nearby stars. It works in exactly the same way as the little experiment you just did with your thumb. Your thumb represents the star you are measuring and the background wall is replaced with a background of very distant stars. If we move our viewing position, the star should appear to move relative to the distant stars. The closer the star is to us, the more it should appear to move. But how can we shift our viewing position? We don't need to. The Earth is orbiting the Sun, so we simply need to take two photographs of the sky, six months apart, for example January and July. This is when the Earth is at two extreme positions of the orbit around the Sun. And then compare the position of this star in the two photos. We can now use trigonometry to work out the distance of the star. The tan of theta is equal to the distance from the Earth to the Sun divided by the distance from the Sun to the star, that is, opposite over adjacent. The distance from the Sun to the star is much, much bigger than the distance between the Earth and the Sun. So we can use the trigonometric simplification that tan theta, for very small angles, is approximately equal to theta. Thus we can say that theta is proportional to 1 over the distance to the star. The parsec is a unit specifically created for this relationship. If we have a parallax angle, theta, of one arc so second, where an arc second equals one three thousand six hundred of a degree, this corresponds to a distance of one parsec. The word parsec is short for parallax of one arc second. This leaves us with the simple equation d in parsecs is equal to 1 divided by p in arc seconds, where d is the distance to the star and p is the angle. Our nearest star other than the Sun is Proxima Centauri. It is 1.3 parsecs away which means that it has a tiny parallax angle of less than one arc second. This is barely perceptible. With modern techniques, we can measure the distance to stars up to around 100 parsecs away using the parallax method. Note that even though the parsec unit is derived from the parallax method, it can still be used to express distances to objects that are far too far away for the parallax method to actually apply. Let's finish with a quick example. A star has a parallax angle P of 0.02 arc seconds. How far away is it? Well simply D equals 1 divided by P. So 1 divided by 0 0.02 gives us 50 parsecs. Easy. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.